As humans, we are often driven by our curiosity. We want to find new things, learn new facts, and explore the world around us. Our bodies long to move and connect with our environment. Being a part of nature and finding our place in the world is a pull we sometimes cannot ignore. All of these things can be magical, but occasionally they can turn dangerous. Thankfully, there are people who make it their mission to help those who find themselves in a spot of trouble. A combination of kindness and current search technology can go a long way when an adventure has gone sideways. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent announcements and discoveries. Traces of extraterrestrial organic matter found in South Africa's mountains For the first time, scientists have discovered evidence of extraterrestrial organic matter in terrestrial rocks. The discovery is further confirmation that we have a lot to learn from the meteorites that have hit Earth for billions of years. The new evidence comes from South Africa's Makwanja Mountains, specifically the Joseph Stahl Chert, a volcanic deposit. The mountain range houses many of the planet's oldest rocks, but it turns out that for some of the rocks, it is more than just their age that is interesting. When astrobiologist Frances Westall and her team investigated the Joseph Stahl shirt in 2019, they discovered a rock layer that gave off two anomalous signals. Electron paramagnetic resonance spectroscopy, also known as EPR, showed that the 2 mm thick and 3.3 billion year old rock layer contains two distinct forms of insoluble organic matter. The two types of matter seem to have extraterrestrial origins, making them the most ancient extraterrestrial organic matter ever found. The first EPR signal bears resemblance to carbonaceous chondrite. Carbonaceous chondrites are segments of primitive meteorites that contain organic compounds. The second anomalous signal consists of nickel, chromium, and iron nanoparticles. The presence of these metal nanoparticles, which are not normally found in terrestrial rocks, also indicate an extraterrestrial background for the rock layer. The metals take the form of cosmic spinels, which are created when space objects, like meteorites, enter Earth's atmosphere. Researchers are unsure how the two distinct anomalous signals came to coexist within the same thin rock layer. The combination of organic compounds and cosmic spinels is puzzling as hydrogenated organic matter requires temperatures less than a few hundred degrees for survival, while cosmic spinels are created because of the intense heat that melts space objects as they descend through Earth's atmosphere. One possible explanation is that a hail-like shower of micrometeorites combined with volcanic ash clouds in the Earth's atmosphere. Once the matter reached the surface, the extraterrestrial carbon and cosmic spinels were preserved in the same layer of sediment for billions of years. According to Westall, for this to be possible, the organic matter from the carbon-rich meteorites must have been raining down at quite a high rate. Researchers also question the previous form of the organic matter. It is possible that it is connected to the origins of life on Earth. After all, many scientists believe that life on Earth was made possible at least partially through extraterrestrial molecules. The unknowns from the Joseph Stahl Chert discovery are what make it particularly exciting. We are left with no choice but to wonder if the matter could have come from an ancient alien exploration to Earth. The Amazon rainforest was changed by ancient humans. The ancient people of the Amazon rainforest appear to have had a much greater impact on the tangled jungle than historians and archaeologists first believed. It appears that some of the first inhabitants of the region crafted large mounds that they used as artificial forest islands in order to cultivate wild plants for food. This conclusion was reached following the discovery of 4,700 forest islands in the Llanos de Moxos region of northern Bolivia that seem to date back to the arrival of humans an astonishing 10,000 years ago. The mounds are built high enough that the yearly floods in the region that occur from December to March do not cover them and appear to have transformed the landscape as early people cultivated squash, manioc and maize. These plants are nutrient-dense and likely made up a large portion of the diet of the regional inhabitants, supplemented with fish and likely some meat. 
These results were documented in a study which analyzed soil samples of the region for microscopic plant silica bodies that remain in the well-preserved environment of tropical forests and appear to confirm that the region was one of the early locations of independent plant domestication by ancient peoples. The analysis resulting in this discovery took place on a large scale, consisting of regional analysis of 61 of the archaeological mound sites, samples from 30 of the forest islands, and four extensive archaeological excavations. Because of this early plant domestication, the ancient people were able to impact the landscape and ecological diversity of the region for the next 10,000 years. The domesticated islands, which were created to feed themselves through the dry months from July to October, are now thriving forest islands that are surrounded by the much drier savanna landscape. Jose Iriarte, of the University of Exeter, who was one of the individuals conducting the study, spoke on the significance of this research, saying that genetic and archaeological evidence suggests that there were at least four areas of the world where humans domesticated plants around 11,000 years ago, two in the Old World and two in the New World. This research helps us to prove southwest Amazonia is likely the fifth, the evidence we have found shows the earliest inhabitants of the area were not just tropical hunter-gatherers, but colonizers who cultivated plants. This opens the door to suggest that they already ate a mixed diet when they arrived in the region. Discoveries are constantly being made that challenge our idea of how the ancients of the Amazon lived and interacted with the dense rainforest that surrounded them. And this is only the latest piece of the puzzle in understanding life thousands of years ago. Photobombing Frog NASA LADY Spacecraft On September 7, 2013, a rather strange happening took place with the launch of the Lunar Atmosphere Dust Environment Explorer, also known as LADY spacecraft. The innovative new technology was sent out on a journey to investigate the atmosphere of the Moon, taken there by the Minotaur 5 rocket. The launch, taking place from Virginia's Wallops Flight Facility, was of course photographed. The event holds a notable place in scientific history, after all. Though alongside NASA's usual stunning photos, a rather odd image came out of it. A small frog got roped into a quite spectacular event, as the launch flung the poor creature sky high, earning him a spot into the photographs of the laddie heading to the moon. The rocket launch was captured by remote cameras, set off by the motion and noise of Minotaur 5, the rocket carrying Laddie. These remote cameras took the image, so it took keen eyes to spot the frog in the photographs of the launch. His iconic presence in this photobombed picture has given many a laugh, but this also means there are plenty of skeptics claiming Photoshop came into play. NASA shut down these claims and have confirmed the photograph was real and untampered with, stating, the photo team confirms the frog is real and was captured in a single frame by one of the remote cameras used to photograph the launch. This frog isn't the first galactic hitchhiker. A small free-tailed bat clung to the side of a spaceship's external tank in 2009 and was also caught in the photos and videos of the day. The question left on many people's minds was, is the frog okay? The short answer is that we don't know but he certainly made fame and left a smile on plenty of people's faces across the globe. However, this astronaut frog made NASA history with his photobombing skills. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.